Hello Stormwater Designers and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos. Today we're continuing our TR55 series. So if you haven't seen the first few videos in that series where we cover download and some of the basic menus, you're going to want to go check that out and then head over to this video. So anyways, today we're going to go through some of the basic operations of building a project in TR55 and then we'll go through some, some examples where we actually run a pre-developed and mitigated scenario. So let's dive right into that here. So we went over some of the basic menus. I'm going to try and set up somewhat of a standard project here. So CCS is the user. I'm going to say project is uh, project one. I'm just going to give it a name, pre-developed, let's say. And we'll do a more in-depth, accurate run when we actually run some of the sample projects. So for state, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pick Ohio. Okay, this has nothing to do with uh, anything project related. I'm going to select a county. Let's go to, let's, let's pick one of the larger urban counties. Let's go to Cuyahoga County here. And now I actually want to select what my rainfall data is going to be, what the dimensionless unit hydrograph is actually going to be for this project. So you can see standard is selected here or this Delmarva. Um, but I want to go a little more in depth into my hydrograph before I start running the project. So let's go to storm data. So you can see this window here. So I could put in a rainfall return period and put in custom 24 hour rainfall uh, amount in inches. So that is something I could do. Or TR55 gives you an option to go to NRCS storm data. And so to replace, replace these storm data with those compiled by the NRCS for Cuyahoga County, Ohio, click on the command, command button below. So notice the values here. And if I click this, uh, it fills in the data that it has uh, already built into the software. So please select rainfall distribution type from the list below. The list includes the standard window, Windows TR20 slash TR55 types and any numbers of user defined distributions. So you can see there's quite a few distributions here. I'm going to stick with the default uh, type uh, NO underscore A. But you can see they have a number of NRCS storm types right there. So that is very helpful. So now it has filled in values there. Like I said, it looks like you can enter in your own custom values if for some reason you need to be able to do that. But I'm going to go back to the NRCS storm data. So make sure you do that. Make sure you get your design storm set up. And I have it set to standard here. So now we kind of have our project location set up. We've got the rainfall data, the dimensionless unit hydrograph. Uh, that we're going to be using for this project. So now we can start building out uh, a little more of our project here. So the sub area name, I'm just going to say is uh, area one. And its description is, I'm going to say this is uh, forested to a degree. So forested, um, we're going to select our reaches later. And now we're going to go and actually put in our acres and weighted curve numbers. So if we go to, you can go to project data or right here is land use details. I'm going to uh, select what land use is going to be a part of this project here. And this is just arbitrary. I'm just showing you for this purpose. But let's say, OK, there is some urban area. There is one acre of curve number 68, two acres of paved curbs and storm sewers. But let's say there's some cultivated uh, agriculture maybe in some part of this land use area. Uh, two acres of B bare soil fallow. So now we have, it looks like, four or five total acres. And that'll construct a weighted curve number. And you can also select summary screen there to see everything you have selected. So I'm going to select accept. So now I have five areas or five acres of area with a weighted curve number 87. And for this forested area, so to speak, I'm going to, well, actually, I'm going to uh, relabel this here and say that this is forested urban because there was a quite a bit of impervious area. And for an impervious area, I'm going to put time of concentration at 15 minutes just for this example here. Or it's actually an hour, so I'm going to go 0.25 hours in this case. So that is our land use area there. That's how to set that up. And now we actually need to build our reaches. And so we can actually set up our reach data here. So reach name, I'm going to put reach 1. What is the receiving reach? Well, it's going to be the uh, outlet, actually. Its length, I'm going to say, is 100 feet. It has a Mannings of 0 0.015, a slope of 3%, so that'd be 0 0.03. A bottom width, let's just say 15 feet, average side slopes of 2 to 1. And I'm not going to give it a structure name. OK, we can actually modify the reach flow path if we wanted, if we had more uh, reaches installed. So I'm just going to click Accept there. So now let's go to Reach, Reach 1. So now we actually have 
our area connected to some form of a reach. So now we can generate runoff and look at a hydrograph. So if we go to run, we can select what kind of uh, storm events we want to evaluate. So let's say we want to look at the 2, the 50, and 100. Now that project is running, we can see the hydrograph peak and peak timetable for the project for the outlet, the reaches, and the sub areas. And we could view TR20 and TR55 reports. So that's how to set up a basic project in TR55 and get it running. Now we're actually going to run the sample projects that are included with the TR55 manual so I can build those and you can follow along with me as we learn the software. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can download our free guide, the Hydrology Terms Guide. It's a free guide that describes all the different forms of hydrology, single event, continuous. So if you're looking at a refresher or learning more about hydrology, go ahead and download that guide for 100% guide for free. And anyways, we will see you guys next time.